Welcome back to our Galactic History. This is part 12. This is Lance White with Andrew Bartzis. Hi. Well, we've been talking about wars and events that are not expected in the predictive models. And I'm going to throw a curveball at you because I want to talk about some of the lone gunman events and some of the things that have been going on that everybody's been speculating about. So I want to put them to bed once and for all. Mm -hmm. Who killed President Kennedy? <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten that curveball question. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, so. uh, honestly, Kennedy killed himself. He did? No. Not literally. He was taken out by a gunman, but okay. it was a multidimensional event. Okay. He would have made the event come in the 60s and the 70s. Oh. Even if he wasn't in present, he would have held spiritual contracts that were opposite of the system of domination and control. Mm. So his family lineage was collecting spiritual contracts to oppose the forces of domination and control. Mm -hmm. So when you have somebody collecting contracts to take your contract right away, what happens up happening to you when you're in the head of the office? You get taken out because their faction had made it all the way to the top. Ah. Faction is the key. Okay. Uh, so you want to know exactly who killed Kennedy? Well, if it's if you if it's on the tip of your tongue, well, exactly who killed Kennedy is not the way it's written. Okay, yeah. Kennedy took a, a shot to the head, right. which was actually a multi-dimensional mm, brain popper. Ah, on camera, meant as a fear event, staged, spun, done exactly the way they wanted to, and in an operation of etheric satellites at the same time he's being shot. Wow. So everyone was psychically aware when he was shot. Wow. Well, the I whole world. Uh, yeah. And I therefore the programming turned on because it was a spun event. Ah. Uh, because his faction had used its last chip. So they were unable to go any further with... Correct. With, with the, freeing the world. With free, yeah. And then at that point it's a matter Pow. of... Yeah. And you know that that's the yeah. only... So that's kind of where the forces of domination and control are being... Are posi posi being positioned now. Correct. They back themselves into a corner, and the only way out is, yeah. They once you play your last chip, chip, you're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah, you're done. there's eventually unless somebody loans you money. Well, which that's of course part of the game of domination and control. Exactly. Okay. What about John Lennon? Now that I'm now that I'm asking about okay. people that we. John Lennon learned how to transcend time while on music while doing mm -hmm. music and it was the beginning of video recording and he began having beings show up in the video recordings and if he was allowed to live he would have influenced the millions into revolution well yes most assuredly there you go and that's why he was taken out i heard that yoko ono was part of the illuminati um no okay she's a free will individual that has been abused i i like her myself mm -hmm. i mean I've, I've always felt that she's you know uh, she has. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a There's one. a reason she, the two of them met. They were soul family. They oh, went yeah. back to the Lemurian yeah. age. And they would have yeah. translated, transmitted Lemurian singing technology. Wow. And upgraded people's soul codes and, and DNA just through singing. Wow. And of course, he has children too, Julian and mm -hmm. I think a couple of others. So it's not like the game is over for them. Well, unless if. He was a special person. Yes. And chose to make his talent very special. What about George Harrison? <laughs> He's a time war sufferer. Really? Time traveler many times over. Uh. Um, many times super soldiers program people, people in domination and control in the sexual abuse industry, they'll force people to watch a certain band or follow a certain band member and that helps them when they're ripped out of one time stream and put into another and these old guy bands are still around. They identify to them, they go to those concerts and then there's people always watching those concerts that can bring them back and shepherd them back into the system. Oh. So it's stuff, when you're working with musicians, this is integrated into the system to lure back people because it's easy to create an obsession for music that gives you a positive benefit. Right. And thus that lures you back into the loop. Right. So I'm guessing that the Rolling Stones are part of that, Well, somehow part of that. that the they process. are a part of it, but ironic thing about the Rolling Stones is they create a music that passes 
generations. Right. You, when you listen to the original recordings of, of Sympathy for the Devil, you only get what you need. Mm -hmm. It's a total vibration than the modern recorded ones that are remastered of the new systems. It doesn't have the same 60s power behind it. Hmm. Hmm. Because that was recorded during that time frame. Oh, right, right. Um, and what about the Jimmy Seville scandal that broke not too terribly long ago? Absolute proof that the sexual abuse ring is runs to the highest levels of government and media. Mm. Yes, it's global. And in fact, and it's been around a very, very, long very time. long time. And I hear that the Netherlands is a hotbed, a nest of you know, all throughout Queen Beatrix, all throughout Europe. There are right. pockets of it. But that's been that system of pockets of sexual ch child abuse and, and slavery has been there for thousands of years also. So there are entire communities. That's all that they do. Right, and the, there's the, everything might look like uh, normal tulips and roses and things, but uh, there's people locked uh, in the basement. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, so that brings me back to some of these other lone gunman events, mm -hmm. which I'm guessing are also multidimensional and time travel. They are time travelers that are put into a future timeline. As I've been saying, it's all about 2011 to 2014. So all these lone gunmen are secret pieces that have been played unaware of any other faction, no other faction was aware of it. So... It, mm. Example, Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook, you know, the, the guy that we all see on camera all drugged out. Mm -hmm. Well, that guy, that particular person, isn't the actual person that did the, did the mission. Okay. He was created and dominated and controlled, put there, and was waited for his time travel code activation to go and do this event there. Okay. There was a team waiting there for him to put another dark entity in him that could physically do the killing. Oh. And he went there with a the team, got the kills in for him himself also, and the test of the team did that. As they extracted him, one of the team was injured, got scared. He wandered off and then was taken over by the police who had puppetry entities in them that became part of the, the team. Because they were free-willed police and all of a sudden something was inside them made them did something different. Wow. The other people got away, he got blamed, he then is the the contract holder for all the fear spin that was done afterwards. Oh, wow. So that event didn't necessarily go off like it was planned. No, there was too many people that picked it apart. Oh, you're right, right. But listen to the, the, the fact that they didn't take into the understanding that there's thousands of people, or hundreds of thousands of people worldwide that listen to police scanners. Oh. And there are internet stations that, that just put the, old, the, the whole thing on. My radio station, freedomslips.com, Revolution Radio, actually has an ac access to all police band broadcastings throughout the entire world available on their channel. Nice, nice. And during the Boston event, all of those went dead silent. Everybody's police scanners went silent. And so that was part of the technology? Because they had figured out that people were listening to that. Ah, ah. And they do things like this. Some of these events are planned to determine how much the resistance of free earth... Right is there and ready to react. And to find out, you know, how, right. yes, how it's quickly, probably, how quickly right. yes. And, of course, all of the major... Um, and it allows them to test their data. Right. So it, it, it could be uh, no more uh, uh, unusual than a, a, test, a test balloon going up. Correct. Okay. And they do that uh, on all the major uh, media like Facebook and uh, all the different uh, social media sites. And that's all pretty much run by artificial intelligence? And teams of remote influencers. Okay, so Google and all the major... Well, the, the actual people in Google, no, they're separate. These are the franchises that I spoke about in an earlier episode. Right. They have access to the raw data that is collected on us from all those social networking data mining sites. Oh. That information is then fed into an artificial intelligence that makes a massive computation and makes a predictive model for each individual and then the whole in total. And then road influencers look at this data and process the data and then begin to target lineages of people through the internet who have an ability to reach far. Mm. But some events that, that have been predicted as being in the future have to be there, but they have a certain amount of... Uh, Wiggle space. Right, right, to adjust and, and mm -hmm. you know, make modulation Correct. controls. Okay, that makes sense. 
Uh, the Boston Marathon? Uh, the Sonara Brothers. <laughs> An absolute perfect example of sleeper cells that have been people that have been taken out of time, mind controlled and given bombs, bomb, weapon, bomb and weapon training, brought back into time with all the equipment that they needed and storage lockers to hide it and passes to be who they were for three years because there was a clone living in the place when they took them out outside of time. Okay. And then when they put them back in, the clone that was holding space was given the dominant personality inside them to keep their cover until they were both triggered to do the operation. Wow. Wow, I'll have to I'll have to listen to that again. <laughs> That's a head scratcher. <laughs> That's the way they, they do these cell activations. Right. The the guy in the Sikh temple, exact same thing. Aurora, same thing, except on a, a fact that it was designed literally to reach out to the whole world. And do one of the fifteen of the families or one of the fifteen beings triggered those things. Orchestrated it from the highest level okay, with its right. puppetry ability. Okay. Uh, or and uh, several of them may have been in, may have been privy to it. No, Aurora was one particular okay. being, the one that's in charge of North America. Oh, okay. So there uh, are there different sections that they're in charge of. Yes, they've each got their own little dominion. Dominion. Okay, and then they coordinate all that information. Not always, but they do coordinate. with reservations. Yes. <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. There basically was an agreement to coordinate basically up until the very end. 2011 to 2014. They would coordinate all the way until then. So after 2014, the the ability to coordinate, everybody's on their own. Well, we got we're not in time anymore. We're not in division, di disunity time. So the it, it begins to dissolve their their control. You're right. Their control right. is based off of time. That's that's the fundamental right, axis. Right. Right. Because of all the time wars and everything, and the time, and that all stops. If our belief of time changes, all their time. <laughs> is a microscopic piece of dust compared to the expansion. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's pinprick. That's right. And that just dissolves everything. It mm -hmm. changes the whole, you know, the whole paradigm. Um, what about Fukushima? Um, this is an example of when the faction that's in charge of Israel and the faction that's in charge of the Middle East, which is two separate multidimensional beings, okay. disagreed on how much they were going to put DNA off world, how much they were going to get rid of people. Mm -hmm. When they do a mass die-off event like that, what they said 22,000 was killed on the news, they're just taking those people and selling them. Wow. Okay? Okay. It has a fear event dimensionality to it also. Right. So it serves all the purposes, but the Israeli faction triggered Fukushima to go off and planned the spin afterwards with the American medias and the faction that was in charge of the Middle East didn't want that to happen. They wanted to keep it between Israel and Hezbollah. And all of a sudden Hezbollah was neutralized for, for many, many weeks. Mm. It wasn't in the news. Mm. Hezbollah, the organization for Hezbollah, was infiltrated by American resistance for Earth people. Oh. And they needed to reassert power over that. That's why they wanted that event there. The Japanese people, which are part of the Oriental faction, were never told that they were going to do this event on them. So that caused a major reverberation against the Israeli forces, and many of their controllers were eliminated. Oh. So it was a fight between the two multi-dimensional beings. One who said, I need this fear event now. I need to milk as much energy out of the world that I can, right. and I don't care what you think. Right, right. That started the triad wars that we have now between the multidimensional beings. Ah. Now, are, are they all at war with each other, pretty much? Timeline war with each other. Okay. Manipulative war with each other. But at the same time, they're all looking at the light forces that are out oh, there. Oh, well, right. They're surrounded. Oh, Each they one are. is the Hitler in a bunker right now. Oh. That's a good analogy. Whatever happened to Hitler, did he actually, did, wasn't he pulled out of there? He, there was a clone that was left there and burnt. Okay. And he was brought to South America. Right. And then to try to access Hollow Earth where he was rejected. And then sent to the astral world for recyclement. Ah, uh, okay. Because he was a part of one of the multidimensional beings that was designed to be a lightning rod for karma. Oh. Because that particular being needed to balance its own karma 
So it put a, a piece of an evil piece really forward and created the war and part of the evolution factor of, of the of the rest of the beings. But he was able to take all the karma because there would be fifty years of T V about World War Two and how evil Hitler was, mm -hmm. balanced that being's karma and allowed him to be more in the game than he was before. Mm. But if he was if he was recycled at the end, a piece. Oh, a piece. Okay, just a piece. Okay. A sovereign piece. Okay. Remember, this is always a multi-dimensional game. They literally will sacrifice one piece to balance more karma. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Now, what about uh, the BP oil spill? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that is an example of extra-dimensional entities that. Are players in the game, but no, no, no match for the, the the fifteen beings here, and no match for the beings that are enforcing the quarantine. But they have enough technology and enough balls to try to break the quarantine. Mm. So they can create an event that wasn't expected by any of the predictive models, <laughs> and that they would be able to manifest their ships during that time to save the Gulf from being flooded with poisonous oil. Mm. Okay. That faction is called the Zik, J I Z Z K. Sada, a species of people. They're a mix between. We'll describe it as. Human form, six to seven feet tall. Um, bone structure is essentially, ten to twelve percent. Denser than ours, but they still look, like us. So they'd have more pronounced bone bonage, sort of Neanderthal looking, but that's the improper word. There's just not a linguistics that describes it. But they have more pronounced face, um, and their DNA lineage goes back to one of the original seventy-two species, first species of Earth. And they do have a big soul family here, but they're a minor player. But they never chose to be a part of the five thousand two hundred eighty-three races defending us. They chose to be their own egoic force. And, uh, Hero to the rescue force. And there are other species that are doing that also. Mm -hmm, Every, yeah. There are many species that are on the mid to lower level, or even in the upper level, like the Zetas, whose sole goal is to be the very first species to occupy Dreamtime or the Dreamtime city. Oh. So they can pull their people out first. Oh. So there's a bit of ego on that level, because all these beings have been trying to free Earth, have been running their own program, separate than the master program and the, the, the main command ships in the, that are here. So you have other operations in the light forces and the gray forces too. And so in a sense, they're, they're in relation to the larger forces that are assisting, they're like rogues. Yes. Okay, and, and that, but they could be accounted for. But that all takes energy to Correct. account for what, what everybody's doing. <laughs> exactly. In every timeline and so on and so forth. Exactly. Except it's easier now with just the one timeline. One time so we should see an acceleration of, I mean, technically. I mean, that. the word acceleration has too many 3D matrix oh, okay. to okay. Re reference to it. it. It always happens when it happens. Okay. Because the, okay. the, the, con the wave, wavelength of total consciousness of Earth reaches a the peak in the bell curve. And then it goes down again. And it peaks again. And then it goes down right. again. And it peaks again. Right. And it happens on a peak. Okay. It doesn't ever happen on a down. It always happens on a peak. Okay. Um, and we're in, uh, we're in a... A peak. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no question about, well, the, full, the super full moon tonight... Mm -hmm. And then we started these interviews on the 21st, the solstice. Mm -hmm. uh, the energy's definitely been and on Mount Shasta on mm -hmm. top of it. So um, to, to, to add a little more to what, what we were talking about, the predictive models think there's going to be 18 peaks this year. Okay. So there are 18 positions in which all of the individual factions have to make their moves. And you have, there, many of their moves are going to be countered. So it's what it's what moves win during those eighteen peaks determines the total value of consciousness for that year. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Because each one is devices divisive or multiplicative of the consciousness. So if the forces of light win, they multiply consciousness. If the darkness wins, they they they, they deplete consciousness. The total <clears throat> vibration of all sentient life living right now here on Earth. Okay. 
And according to uh, what you're looking into uh, from the Akashic Records, uh, would you say that there's going to be an expansion of consciousness in general? We've had seven peaks so far. Seven peaks, okay. So there's 11 more peaks to go during the end of the year. So that means there's 11 more attempts at fear, fear, right. fear pointing right. versus consciousness expansion. And anyone, and then plus you have the random wild cards now that are which are people up. standing up and claiming their sovereign will and acting upon it. And is the one people's trust one of those things that, that was planted or seeded it was, to divert? Or just with any organization that rises, it will ultimately be taken be atta over. attacked. Not necessarily taken over, attacked. Okay. Um, it's the first time anyone's ever foreclosed on the Fed with the, let's just call it the actual internet age. It's been done 20 times before where people realized the Fed was fake, it had no charter, the corporate system has no charter, our laws, are, our corporate courts, all of our bonded uh, oath and bonded judges are under corporate bond, which is not a state, a state oath bond given by the President of the United States. So. None of our judges are actually really judges. They're just corporate people. Wow. They all sell bonds for every case. Okay. So if you go to court, there is in your name that has a bond with the hundreds of thousands of dollars right. that's attached to it, right. which is then traded on the open corporate networks and actually traded on the stock market. Wow. And you can actually look it up. Wow. And I uh, have heard that uh, yeah, when we're born, we're bo born with a... a you're born as livestock, actually. Yes, in exactly. the system. we're traded on the, on that. Yeah. Exactly. You're born dead, actually. Huh? How then? How does that work? Well, as soon as you're well, this is how the American system works. <laughs> as soon as you're born, there's a live uh, certificate of live birth and then right. a birth certificate. The certificate of live birth is written in a way that you give away all all your rights until you're seven, and you have to claim your rights back when you're seven. Otherwise, you remain permanently dead as livestock. Therefore, they can do anything they want to you because they changed the actual definitions of that law for that law, and then other laws change the definitions to mean something else. And many, many, many laws do this. If people want to look up the most screwed up law, the one that allows Agenda 21, go look up H.R. 3474, the Regal Community Development Act of 1994. Okay. You will read in page um, 261 to 266 on the actual Library of Congress official PDF document, um, actually where they repealed every banking law from the 1930s to the 2000, to 1994. And they repealed them in such a way that they changed the lang linguistics by two, three, or four words so that it meant something completely opposite of the original intention. And that is the document that is the rollout for Agenda 21. Oh. And I've done dozens of shows on it. Okay. Dozens so, of dozens of shows. Ah, interesting. So Agenda 21 is moving forward. No, the Agenda 20, that's the law that got it to go forward. They made it oh, legal. Oh, okay, okay. That's the law that made it legal. Okay. Okay, as well as the banking scandal of 2008 to actually happen, made it legal. Okay, so if the, if the Fed has been, if, if we've gone through this so many times, then what's happening is... It's just being altered in subtle ways so that it's re reinstated. Right. Okay. Okay. That Remember, they're time traveling. Right. So they're right. writing laws that affect their time traveling that mm -hmm. can be manipulated, but just by changing 35 words for one in one paragraph of a thousand page law. And then they have 35 other laws that right. have riders inside them that will all be affected too by the definition change. And we don't have any access to the courts that are right. I mean, they're and in fact the 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 laws, the system of law that we have today will never allow you to completely load all of the right. laws that are passed into a computer that can do a network analysis on it, right? Because it'll show that it's a multi-dimensional document, uh, right. right? That has time traveling uh, concepts to it, and I challenge people out there to do it yourself, uh. you out there. <laughs> uh. So we're uh, at the end of our segment for now, and um, episode 13 next. Yes. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>